you see the baby Yoda that was revealed in the pilot yet? I have seen it on the set and it's heartbreakingly beautiful and I saw two technicians operating it remote. One was for the eyes and the mouth and the other one was for other facial expressions. It's a phenomenal technical achievement. Like I held him and put him on my shoulder. I'm a father of a, a four-year-old now, but when I did this, he was three years old. And, you know, he was 1A to, to my son being one. Like, oh my gosh, he's so cute! <laughs> I just wanted to, like, nuzzle him on set. There's great puppetry, great audio animatronics. I think with, with Star Wars, there's an acceptance of a certain look. And so it, I'm taking chances here that I wouldn't take on a film that wasn't this. It looks exactly like you, you see on the screen. It's, it's an animatronic. You know, these days, you're so used to everything being like a tennis ball or a CGI later on. But this thing was real. Like, there was no acting required. It was what you see, the reactions we have are just pure and authentic. And he's such a scene stealer. It's kind of one of those things that if you have kids, come Christmas, you may wind up uh, <clears throat> with a little toy, you know?